Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Masquerade Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the encode string method. Now, this is something you may or may not ever use, but it's good to know it's available to us. And what the encode string method does is it encodes a string into bytes, something a computer will understand. All right, so when we store strings in memory, the strings are converted into Unicode format, which converts each character into a code point. The string of code points are now converted into bytes. This is, most, this is the most efficient way to store strings in memory. And the preceding process I just explained to you is called encoding. So what we're gonna do is look at how we can encode strings um, into a certain format. More specifically, we're going to look at UTF-8 and um, uh, I'm drawing the blank now. We're going to look at ASCII. There we go. That's the other um, popular format. Now, like I said before, this is something you probably won't use. It's not something we have to do with strings to store them in memory. All right, because once we store them in memory, Python takes care of all this for us. But it's good to know that this tool is available to us and we can take a look at it. So let's get started and create some strings and convert them. So the first thing we're going to do is create a string called master code online. And it's going to be represented by A. So A is equal to master code online. Like that. All right. Uh, so first thing we want to do is call A, then encode. Like that. And encode does take an argument, and that's what kind of encoding format do you want? It defaults to UTF-8, all right? So right here, we got a byte string of mastercode.online. To prove it's a byte string, we can do type a.encode like this, and it returns class bytes, all right? So it's a subclass of bytes. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. This time we're gonna use an accident character in it to actually see what a um, Unicode um, code point would look like. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go ahead and create another, sh uh, create a, sh a, create another string. Woo. It's one of those things. Master code. And this time I'm on my um, Mac, I'm going to press option O. That's an accident character code. And then we're going to do online like that. All right, now when we call a.encode, we're, we're gonna get a um, different look here. And this is broken down into bytes, all right? So the accent character is not handled exactly the same way a normal string would be. So now it breaks down um, the, the uh, accent character into bytes, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, another example here. Um, if we wanted to go ahead and set the um, encoding to uh, ASCII, which is another popular encoding uh, format, we're going to get an error. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So let's go ahead and do um, a.encode. And then in here, we're going to pass the um, coding format we want. So ASCII, and this has to be in a string format. We're going to hit return. And notice I get a Unicode a Unicode encode error, ASCII codec cannot encode character uh, backslash XF8 in this position 8. All right. So basically saying it doesn't know how to handle that. So the reason why we're getting this error is because default error um, handling in encode is strict. So it's going to kick back this Unicode encode error when it doesn't know what to do. All right, so <clears throat> there's ways we can handle this. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of our um, error handling um, options here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do A and code again, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the ASCII uh, encoding again, and this time we're gonna pass a um, code handle, or an error handling command of ignore. So we're gonna say, hey, ignore any errors. And what it's going to do is return a code, uh, return our string in a bytes format, but it's going to remove any errors in there. Notice the accented character is now not in the string. All right. 
let's go ahead and take a look at another one. We could do uh, a.encode. And we're going to use the same ASCII. And this time we're going to go ahead and say replace. Now with the replace where it runs into a encoding error, it's going to replace that character with a question mark. Hit return and notice we got a byte string and our accented character is now replaced with a question mark. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at one more. This one's going to be um, XML character refer ref replace. Um, and what it's going to do is replace the character with an XML code. So let's go ahead and do a dot encode ooh, encode and this time ASCII and we're gonna go ahead and do XML C A R C H A R I should say ref <clears throat> replace like that. Alright notice now <clears throat> that error is replaced with an XML code and let's take a look at one more. I'm going to clear my screen so it's back at the top. And we're going to go ahead and do a.encode. And this one's going to be same ASCII. And this time we're going to say backslash replace. And this will go ahead and replace our um, error code with a backslash. Hit return. Woo. I spelled backslash wrong. So backslash like that. There we go. All right, so we got uh, master and then C and then our accented character is replaced with backslash backslash X F E eight. All right, D E. So that's how we encode strings in Python. If you have any questions, head over to mastercode.online. We'll be more than happy to help you out. We'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about the ends with string method. Have a good day.